Good uh, morning and uh, good afternoon for those of you on the East Coast. My name is Don Wilkinson and uh, on behalf of my partners at uh, Deloitte and uh, in association with the Institute of Corporate Directors and of course our good friends at BCN TV, welcome all to the Director Series. Our topic today is social license and what are the issues that uh, boards really need to be thinking about uh, related there too. Now, I wonder if we can pull up the map of Canada because I'm going to do a little exercise with you called visualization. And uh, just imagine you have a marker in your hands and I want you to make a little mark uh, just north of Edmonton. And of course, that's going to represent the oil sands. Now, our business challenge is how do we get uh, that resource to the markets in a safe and efficient manner? So take those imaginary marking pens and let's, let's draw a line. Let's head south uh, down to the Gulf Coast so we can access some refining capacity. Next, let's draw a line across the West Coast and think about those uh, accessing the Asian markets. Finally, let's head to the East Coast, line across to the East Coast and thinking about servicing obviously the East Coast and uh, across the Atlantic. Now, more visualization, uh, put yourself in the shoes of the directors of a major Canadian uh, pipeline company. And just think about some of the challenges you're going to have to make this a reality. Uh, certainly some very significant environmental and social issues that you're going to have to navigate. Uh, these clearly are strategic for you uh, as board members, both in terms of risks and opportunities. And just think about the myriad of stakeholders you have to navigate. And I'm just thinking about regulators. Of course, there's uh, federal, uh, there's provincial, uh, there is the U.S. you need to navigate. So a lot of hurdles there. And political challenges. Of course, you have to cross borders. And we all recall the press and the discussions between the premiers of Alberta and British Columbia. And if you think about it, those pipelines, they're going to cross communities. Uh, including First Nations lands. And so thinking about their interests, their concerns, uh, what's in it for them will have to be figured out um, up at the strategic board level. And finally, there's a number of other interested parties with some very strong views around social and environmental issues. So as you sit in that board seat at that, um, at that pipeline company, you need to be very thinking strategically about the risks and the strategies to mitigate uh, those risks. Now, I know you're all good directors, so eventually we will have those lines filled in. We will have pipelines north, south, east, west. Um, but once you've done that, of course, you need to operate those, uh, those pipelines in a safe, uh, efficient, meeting the highest standards. Uh, that is, you need to maintain your social license to operate. So I'm going to stop the visualization. You're no longer in those uh, board seats, though some of you actually may be. Um, and we'll talk about uh, our session today. And in terms of our agenda, uh, first of all, we're going to be taking a look at generally uh, those risks. How, how do companies think about those? How should boards think about the risks as it pertains to environmental, social, social license? and also share with you some of the uh, best practices that are out there. Uh, then I think we'll, we'll take a, uh, if you will, an industry lens on the issue. So the mining industry, um, uh, they've been dealing with, for, with social license for uh, many of years. And of course, uh, on the retail sector, there's been lots of stories about challenges in the supply chain, so some significant issues there. So we'll be taking a look at those uh, two sectors and some of the issues and think considerations for the boards. And then just as a, a change, we'll also take a look at the public sector. How, how do you marry up uh, social policy uh, along with a public policy in that uh, setting? Now, as always, uh, we will leave some time at the end for some questions um, and hopefully some answers. Now, uh, as I always uh, tell you, do not wait to the end. Uh, as that question comes to mind, there are some question cards in your local setting. Make sure you jot down the question, get them to the administrator. Uh, there, they'll beam them to us and we'll do our best to answer at the end. One last thing, and I, I say this every time, uh, we're gonna put you to work. So during the next two hours, uh, at least two occasions, we're gonna be coming out uh, with some questions for you to think about this whole issue of social license. Now, 
Joining me in the studio today is, is a very qualified and uh, expert uh, group of uh, panelists, and I know my short introduction won't do them justice, uh, so I would encourage you to take a look um, in the handout package at their fuller uh, CVs. To my left is Wendy Evans. Now, Wendy has uh, extensive experience, uh, operating experience in both the retail and wholesale uh, sectors. Uh, she is the president of Evans & Company Consultants and uh, deals with international marketing, financial, and strategy issues for, uh, for their clients. Um, she's also an author, so uh, a book, uh, Border Crossing, uh, Doing Business in the U.S. And of course, the U.S. is a very major trading partner for Canada, so important to, uh, to, to go read that book. Um, and think about doing business south of the border. Uh, she also has considerable experience in terms of advising boards and sitting as a board director. Uh, she is currently the uh, director of Northwest Company. And Wendy, I did check this out. The vision of St. Louis was something like delivering products and services to communities so people will have better lives. A very much a social uh, a message in that. So Wendy, welcome, and we'll look forward to your comments Thank today. You now, next to uh, Wendy is Bob Kelly. Uh, Bob, I think it's about a year now you've been in the chair of CMHC, uh, Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation. And of course, reading the press and hearing about household debt levels, I think it must be a very interesting chair to sit in. Uh, he is the uh, lead director of Market Group, a UK company. He is the chair of Santander uh, Asset Management. And Bob has uh, significant financial services industry experience. He's the former uh, chairman and CEO of Bank of New York Mellon, uh, CFO of Wachovia, uh, also um, uh, here in Canada, vice chair with TD Bank. So lots of financial experience um, uh, with Bob and also academic. So chancellor of the university, <laughs> or of St. Mary's University. So Bob, uh, welcome to the director series and we're looking forward to your comments. Thank, Thank you very much, appreciate it. Uh, next uh, to Bob is Valerie Chort. Uh, Valerie is a, a partner of mine. She leads our Canadian practice around sustainability and uh, climate change. And so while she's busy uh, spending time here in Canada, she also does a bit of global uh, trotting. So uh, operates globally and also the Americas. So she's part of the leadership team for our global uh, group dealing with sustainability issues and also the leader of our Americas Center of Excellence on the subject. Now, uh, she spends a lot of time uh, advising uh, executives and boards around issues like the environment, health and safety, uh, energy management, uh, sustainability, and so on. So um, it probably would not be surprising to you to hear that she's actually our internal advisor to Deloitte Canada's corporate social responsibility program. So Valerie, you've been with us before, but welcome back and we're looking forward to your comments. Thank you. Next to Valerie is Alan Hibben. Um, Alan uh, is a managing director of the uh, mergers and acquisition area over at RBC uh, Capital Markets Group. Uh, previously, uh, he was involved with strategy with uh, RBC, leading uh, corporate strategy and corporate, uh, corporate uh, development. Uh, he was uh, the CEO of their uh, private equity uh, firm and uh, also has considerable experience as a chief executive officer, a CFO, and a director of many public and, uh, and private uh, companies. Uh, he is currently the director of uh, Hud Bay Minerals, so clearly social license an important issue uh, in that seat. And uh, Alan, also an author. Um, I think you do some articles for the ICD Director's Journal, uh, including on social license. So we're looking forward to your comments today and, and welcome. Thanks. 